practice first teaching people how to get out of debt, live on a budget, be generous, live on less than you make. So you have a plan, you avoid debt, you save money for emergencies and later for investing. And all of those principles work. There's no one who has a track record of helping thousands of people go from debt to riches like Dave Ramsey. In this video, we'll cover 35 of Dave Ramsey's tips for living on an extremely low income. 1. Know your income. If you are someone who makes daily pay or horns and spends almost simultaneously due to the nature of your job, chances are you may not know your monthly income. Try to list out every single income source and track every penny so you can know exactly how much you earn. Without this, you can't make a budget. 2. Find cheaper transportation options. For some of us, having a car can make transportation cheaper. However, for others, a car might just make us go broke due to the high gas price. This is why you should weigh your options very closely and choose the cheapest transportation options available for you. 3. Avoid debt. Get out of debt first. Because, of course, I learned my lesson the hard way going bankrupt and getting out of debt and uh, learning how important it was to be debt free as a, process, as a part of building wealth. One thing Dave Ramsey frowns at is debt. He calls it slavery. You'll never be rich if you keep calling short on credit cards or student loans. Settle these things before you even think of saving or investing. 4. Learn to only buy what you need. The truth is, sometimes we spend most of our money on what we want, not what we need. If you look around your home now, you'll surely find several things you bought that weren't necessary. That's evidence that you spend money on wants rather than needs. If you must get rich, then you must kill this habit. 5. Buy used items. One of the easiest ways to save cash is to buy used stuff. Whether it's a car, furniture, or a home appliance, anything can be bought for half the price or less if it's fairly used. 6. Use coupons. Coupons are vouchers that make you entitled to a particular discount off a certain item. If you're lucky to get your hands on a coupon, especially when shopping online, never fail to use it before it expires. Dave Ramsey approves of this, big time. Also, try to win these coupons whenever you can. 7. Go for cheaper accommodation. One thing that eats into our finances is housing expenses. Always go for cheaper homes. Why rent a duplex when you're living alone? Instead, rent smaller, cheaper home. Also, when sleeping out, avoid hotels. Use an Airbnb instead. 8. Make coffee at home. Some of us crave a good cup of coffee in the morning. The thing is, if you go get one at Starbucks or McDonald's, you'll spend at least $2 to $5 per cup. Plus, you may be tempted to buy an accompanying snack. It's best to make your own coffee at home. 9. Exercise naturally. Gym fees are not for the broke or low-income earners. If you must burn those calories, do so at home or use the natural environment around you. You can also get a mat and use a good app to exercise at home or jog in the mornings. 10. Try to do everything yourself. Whether it's fixing your car or cleaning your house or washing your clothes, you can save a ton of money if you just learn to do things yourself instead of hiring someone. Remember, you can learn anything on the internet these days. It's all up to you. 11. Find cheap recreational activities. We all need a break sometimes. However, you don't need to go to a cinema for that. You can simply play games with friends and family or some other fun activity at home. 12. Eat well, but a little less. Whatever you think you're spending at the grocery store, you're wrong. It's more than yeah, that. Three. And so if you think you're spending $500, you better put $750 in there. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to find that it's more. You Because here's the thing. That is a category that if you underfund it, you will go back and either break your budget or you'll have to go back and correct your budget in the middle of the month. Overfund your grocery store budget. Because everyone spends more than they think they're going to do. It's easy to undervalue how much you spend on food. Dave Ramsey advises people to eat good food but eat less, if possible. You can still get good food for cheap prices at local grocery stores and eateries. 13. Start cooking. This is an extension of the previous tip. Cooking will help you save and give you a clear picture of how much you're eating and how much you spend on food. Thankfully, there are several apps nowadays that can teach you how to make delicious dishes to enjoy at home. 14. Get a meal plan. Your feeding will inarguably eat deep into your finances if you don't have a meal plan. Choose what to eat on each day of the week. Plan to eat more affordable meals, buy foodstuffs and ingredients at cheaper grocery stores, and so on. 15. Take care of your four walls. 
Ramsey advised staying afloat with your basic necessities while trying to make a better life. This means you shouldn't ignore things like your home, feeding, or even your health simply because you want to save or invest to get rich. 16. Sell Junks Whatever thing you've got lying around your home has the potential to fetch you some money, rather than let such items waste away. Put them up for sale on platforms like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. It's a cheap, easy way to make some extra cash and also free up space in your home. 17. Don't buy expensive new clothes. It's very common to see people who would not mind spending the majority of their income on a new designer shoe or shirt. If you're serious about making money, you should avoid this habit. 18. Eliminate the non-essentials. Again, this is where having a budget comes into play. When you review your monthly budget, you're sure to find one or two things you can do without. Maybe it's a home decor or a subscription. Eliminate those things and save the money instead. Would you like to see more content like this? Let us know by liking this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. 19. Avoid vacations. Sadly, a low income means no vacation, but there's no reason to be sad about it. You could always have fun at home or find cool spots in your area to relax. Moreover, it would all be worth it when you've become financially free. 20. Reduce your home cost to $0. If you're owing a mortgage, pay it up as fast as possible so you know your home no longer costs a dime. Also, one quick way to make your home cost $0 is to rent out a portion of your home. Sometimes, this can even bring you a handsome profit on the side. 21. Reduce your energy consumption. Electricity bills can be a pain in the ass sometimes. You can always help yourself in your pockets by using electrical appliances only when necessary. 22. Ask about discounts. Some stores have a habit of concealing discounts and special offers, so only customers who are in the know can take advantage of them. Never be ashamed to ask for discounts. You never know what good deals you are missing out on. 23. Use apps for purchases. There are several apps out there that give you special discounts and offers on purchases, especially if you're a newcomer, whether it's grocery shopping, booking a flight, or even purchasing gas. There's an app for almost anything you can think of. 24. Join Rewards Program. Most businesses offer something called reward or loyalty programs for customers. Participating in certain activities or hitting certain milestones as a customer can earn you some sweet rewards. Dave Ramsey advises to take advantage of these kinds of offers. 25. Schedule automatic saving. One of the smartest financial advice ever is to save before you spend, but this can be extremely hard. This is why it's best to have an app or a bank feature enabled that automatically directs a portion of your earnings to your savings account. That way, you completely avoid the temptation to spend your savings. 26. Cancel automatic subscriptions. From Netflix to Amazon Prime, there's always something you've subscribed to that you don't need. Find it, cancel it. It may be hard to adjust at first, but consider it a necessary sacrifice to meet your target financial goal. 27. Get a written budget and stick to it, regardless how much you earn. The best way to get all your money under control is to make a budget and follow it strictly. The key here is to account for every money earned and spent. Doing this already makes you financially mature and responsible. It's something only the rich do. 28. Avoid restaurants. Except you are already a millionaire. You should avoid eating at fancy restaurants. At best, even if you are too busy to prepare a homemade meal, eat at a local eatery where food is much cheaper. 29. Raise your deductible. A deductible is the amount of money you must spend before your insurance policy can start covering expenses. In other words, a low deductible means you only get a small payment for your insurance coverage. As much as you should try to live frugally, if you're under any form of insurance coverage, you should try to raise your deductible. You never know when you'll need that insurance paycheck. 30. Compare insurance plans. This is a continuation of the previous tip. Always try to compare insurance rates. Go for the most convenient and affordable ones. That way, raising your deductible won't be a pain or financial burden. 31. Track any extra spending. There's a 99% chance you'll spend money on a couple of things that aren't in your budget. Note these things and try to control or eliminate them. 32. Replace air filters. Air filters are a necessity, especially if you have a furnace in your home. By eliminating the dust and debris that can contaminate the air and make you sick or even affect your home appliances, you avoid potential expenses. 
This, however, can only happen when you replace your air filters regularly. 33. Shop at cheaper stores. This is highly necessary, irrespective of what you're buying. At the end of the day, no one would know if you bought your shoes for $5 or $50. You can always look online for cheapest stores available in your area. 34. Buy generic brands. This, again, is another mistake clone come earners make. There's no need to show off a Gucci watch when you're behind on your mortgage. Kill the habit of trying to compete or impress others with what you wear. Only go for generic brands you can afford. 35. Raise your income. You will have a hard time becoming a millionaire if you're earning only $10,000 a month. This is why you must have extra sources of income. Millionaires like Dave Ramsey have multiple income sources, so they can never go broke. Read a book, get a course, learn a new skill, start a side business, or do something extra to get extra cash. It's a small step that can amount to big results. The best time to start investing was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Please subscribe below and let's enjoy the journey together.